Alright my friends, it is now time for Weenie of the Week. Brought to you by Indie Spotlight Live here on Blog TV. This one's a classic. Um, guy got cited after paying a bill with 2,500 pennies. Um, apparently a Utah man has been cited on a charge of disorderly conduct after paying for a disputed medical bill with 2,500 pennies. Um, the Deseret News of Salt Lake City reports Jason West went to the Basin Clinic in Vernal on May 27th prepared to dispute an outstanding $25 bill. Assistant Vernal Police Chief Keith Campbell says that as after asking staff members whether they accepted cash, West uh, dumped 2,500 pennies on the counter and demanded that the staff count them. Uh, Campbell said the incident upset staff because pennies were strewn about the counter and floor and West actions served no legitimate purpose. Police later issued the 38-year-old West a citation for disorderly conduct that carries a fine of as much as $140 or about 14,000 pennies. Let's see what they're saying about this in the chat. <coughs> um, yeah, Geo saw that. Um, yeah, that's exactly it, Rob. It's legal tender. It's pennies. In God we trust. That would be great if he did. You know, just and, and, and you know, just bring in like a Ziploc bag of them. You know, just <laughs> or even just like a brown paper bag and uh, don't dump it on the counter because that's what got him in trouble in the first place. Just set it down. You know, it's like when you're at a register and customers give you money, they pay in all changes. It's like four or five bucks. You gotta count all that out. Well, this is no different. Ah, oh, man. Once again, shows there is no. Yeah, I, I see. I, I don't know. I can kind of see the guy's point. I just don't understand how he got in trouble for it because somebody got upset. That's just like weird. So I don't know who to call the weenie of the week. Yeah, exactly, Jen Lo. <laughs> yeah, you know what? They were scared of pennies? Oh, it's the attack of the killer pennies. You know, I mean, really, what is that? That just... You, you, once again, it show, goes to show you can't fix stupid. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. The guy holding up the bank. And I, that, and that almost would have made the weenie of the week. I don't have an article. But, oh, by the way, I should say before I go on. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, the link to the article will be uh, posted in the uh, description bar below. Um, and, um, yeah, okay. But, yeah, a guy uh, hauled up a bank for a buck because he wanted to get locked up in prison for the health benefits. That, to me, is kind of like buying an airplane for the free crackers. There's, you want free crackers, there's more efficient ways to get them. But, um... This one, yeah, it's, it's a gem. It's an absolute, yeah. Hmm. There, huh. Anyway. I don't know who to call Weenie of the Week, but we'll just say that the whole story is the Weenie of the Week. <laughs> um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, um, show is called Indie Spotlight Live. Um, we play a lot of indie music. We have a good time in chat room. We talk about just about anything. Um, also on the show, we, um, do have interviews of independent musicians as long as movers and shakers in the industry come on by and check us out sometime. The screen name on Blog TV is Risky Business 04. The show is Indie Spotlight Light. It airs every Sunday night at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. And uh, have a great week.